Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, yes, you might be surprised to know, but this is true, that water pollution can also affect the food chain. Now, we already saw what a food chain is. So, by now we know what is a food chain. So, how water pollution can affect food chain? So, here comes the concept of biomagnification. Now, what do we mean by biomagnification? So, first of all, it is a surprise for you that water pollution can affect food chain. Now, let me explain that first. Now it is very obvious, right? So if the water is polluted, what will happen? The aquatic organisms living in that water will be will be taking in the polluted water so their body also contains poison in some other other form now when those aquatic living organism is eaten up by some other organism for example if human beings consume a fish which has poison within it so the human beings after eating that will also have the poison in his body now if the human beings are being eaten by some lion or tiger so they will also get the same poison so that is how water pollution can impact the food chain now there is a concept of biomagnification which says that the concentration of the toxin increases as we go higher level in the food chain like in food chain we have different levels for example plants are the lowermost level the next level is the herbivores which feed on plants the next level is carnivore which feed on the herbivores so in the lesson on ecosystem i have explained about the food chain in more detail so you can refer that so as we go to higher levels, the concentration of the toxin will also increase. So what happens is increase in concentration of a toxic substance as it goes higher up the food chain. This is called biomagnification. Bio means life or something related to life. Magnify means to increase. Now the concentration here is increasing in living organisms. So that is why it is called biomagnification. So now we will take one example to understand what it actually is. So let us take this example. Let us suppose that the water in this particular river is being polluted. So the water has some toxin. So let us say the toxin which is present in this water is DDT or maybe some mercury waste or some chemical waste. So for example, for now let us consider that DDT is present in this water. Okay, so water has DDT which has some concentration. Let us let us write that as well. Let us suppose the concentration of DDT in water is 0 0.003 particles per billion. So this is the concentration of DDT in the water. So it is a very less concentration but even less concentration of DDT will pollute the water. So DDT is a chemical which is toxic and poisonous. So now what happens? These small organisms called zooplanktons. So these zoo, these are zooplanktons. These are small organisms which are found inside water. So these organisms feed on this water. So these organisms will have will intake this water, taking this water, and as a result, their body will also contain the polluted water. That means their body will also contain the toxin, and the toxin here is DDT. So this water being consumed by the zooplankton, their body will also contain DDT. But now in this case, it has been seen that the concentration of DDT inside zooplankton is 0 0.04 particles per million. So you see, it was particles per billion and that to 0 0.003. Now the concentration has increased. So that means these zooplankton have higher concentration of DDT. So why? Because they have consumed this polluted water. Now let us suppose there are some fishes, which small fishes which consume, which eat the zooplanktons. So these are the small fishes which eat the zooplanktons. So when the zooplanktons are eaten by the small fish, so the inside the body of the small fish also you have DDT. Now when you look at the concentration of DDT inside the small fish, it is 0 0.5 particles per million. So it has increased even further. And now when these small fishes are eaten up by big fishes, it is seen that the concentration is further increased. So here the concentration of DDT is 
two particles per billion. So you see in water the concentration of DDT was 0.003 particles per billion. But in case of this big fish the concentration is two particles per million. So the concentration of DDT is increasing as we go higher in the food chain. So if you look at the food chain it started from here and gradually the trophic level of the food chain is increasing. So as we go to higher levels the concentration of the toxic substance also keeps on increasing. Now the question is why does that happen? Because normally from our concept of food chain we know that as we go towards the higher level the amount of energy decreases. Why is that? Because every time the energy gets transferred from a lower trophic level to a higher trophic level, some amount of energy is lost. Therefore, the amount of energy which actually gets transferred to the higher traffic, trophic level is always lesser than that at the lower trophic level. But why is it opposite in case of a toxic substance? So it is quite surprising. So now we will try to understand the cause of biomagnification. Why this happens? So let us look at the cause of biomagnification. Now there are several factors which are responsible for this phenomenon. First is the toxic substance can't be broken down. Now if you talk about something like DDT or mercury based, so they cannot be broken down further into simpler forms. So they remain as it is. So that means even over a period of time, where even when they get transferred from um, uh, zooplanktons to small fish to big fish, they remain the same. They do not get broken down. So that is one uh, that is one reason why they get they do not reduce. Second is they cannot be excreted out. There is no way that they can go out of your body. They cannot come out of your body, right? So whatever has gone inside will remain inside. So excretion cannot take care of the toxic substance. Higher trophic levels consume more toxic substances. So what does this mean? This means that let us consider the same food chain. So you had the polluted water, the zooplanktons and the zooplanktons were eaten by the small fish and the small fish was eaten up by the big fish. Now in this case if you see now we were talking about the concentration of DDT inside one zooplankton. But do you think that this fish will eat only one zooplankton? No. The fish is going to consume a lot of zooplanktons. Maybe in one day the fish might consume some 20-30 zooplanktons. So and every zooplankton has a concentration of DDT 0.04 particles per million. So basically when the fish is eating up some 30 zooplanktons, so the concentration of DDT which is getting inside the body of the small fish is 30 multiplied by 0.04 particles per million. Now let me write down the concentration of DDT in each of these. So let us suppose in water it was 0.003 particles per billion, in zooplankton it was 0.04 particles per million, in a small fish it was 0.5 particles per million and in a big fish it was 2 particles per million. Right? This was the concentration. Now since this small fish is feeding on some 30 zooplanktons, so the concentration of DDT which is getting inside its body is this value multiplied by 30. Similarly, this big fish is not eating one small fish. It is eating multiple small fishes. And each of those small fish has 0.5 particles per million. So that means that the organisms which belong to higher trophic levels, they consume more number of organisms in the lower trophic levels. And each organism has that toxic substance. So therefore, as we go higher the trophic level, the concentration of the toxic substance inside the body of the organism keeps on increasing. And this gives rise to biomagnification. So this is the main reason. But at the same time, the toxic substance cannot be broken down so it is not that okay the fish has taken in uh, this much of toxic substance and over a period of time it will reduce there is no way that it can reduce over a period of time because it can neither be broken down nor it can be excreted out so it will remain the same so this is how that biomagnification occurs so now you can understand that how important it is to control water pollution because even if the concentration of a poisonous substance is very less in water but it can still be extremely threatening for the aquatic life which is uh, dependent on water.
Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.